Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone. Have you ever thought that you often make mistakes during presentation? Do you know the common mistakes in your presentation? All right. So that will be our topic today. So our topic today is about common mistakes in presentations. And here are the outlines. First, common mistake can include overlaying slide with information and it can also include monotone delivery, lack of eye contact, and nervous habits. All right, so let's discuss further about these common mistakes. First, overloading slides with information. One of the most common mistakes in presentation is overloading the slides with too many information. This can make the slides difficult to read overwhelming for the audience and can detract from the overall message. To avoid this mistake, it's important for you to keep slides simple and focused and only include the most important information. And then next, monotone delivery. What is monotone delivery? So a monotone delivery can be one of the biggest turn off for an audience. A monotone voice can make a presentation sound boring, uninterested, and lacking in energy. To avoid this mistake, it's important for you to vary the tone and pace of the delivery, to use inflection and emphasis, and to project energy and enthusiasm. Next, lack of eye contact. Lack of eye contact can make a presentation seem uninterested, insincere, or lacking in confidence. To avoid this mistake, it's important for you to make eye contact with your audience, to look at individuals as well as the group as a whole, and to engage with the audience through the use of gestures and expression. And finally, nervous habit. Nervous habits such as fidgeting, pacing, or playing with objects can detract from the overall impact of a presentation. How to avoid this mistake? Remember, it's important for you to be mindful of nervous habits, to practice relaxation techniques, and to focus on breathing and posture to help reduce nervousness. The goal is to present in a confident and relaxed manner allowing the audience to focus on message, not the nervous habit of the presenter. So, dear students, I think that's all about the common mistakes and then how to avoid those common mistakes. I know that it's not easy to avoid those things in your presentation. However, I strongly believe that practice makes perfect. So, do you agree with me? All right. Thank you. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.